Do you leave your gun in your glove box? Let's talk about this. My name is Richard. I'm a USCCA training manager and certified instructor. And today I'm going to be talking to you about the issue of you know, leaving a gun in the glove box of your vehicle. This is something that I'm going to start right off the bat by saying this is a bad idea. But people do it for a lot of different reasons. You know, they might be doing it because if they're going on a long drive across the country, maybe 12 hours or more. They don't want to have that gun sitting on their waist or poking them in the side. So they, they take the gun off and chuck it in the glove box. Or maybe they're traveling somewhere and they realize they have to go into a non-permissive area. Maybe they're picking their kids up from school or they have to go into some government building, somewhere where they can't bring a gun. So into the glove box it goes. Logically, it makes sense to them. I can lock my car, but there's a lot of reasons why that is not a good idea. The first reason why we don't recommend that is because there's no real way to secure the gun in your glove box. You know, really, it, even if it has the, the locking ability, it's really just cheap plastic. Anyone with a crowbar can easily snap that open, and the glove box is usually the first place people look when they're breaking into cars. Now, I know a mechanic, he was doing an oil change just the other day, and he popped the glove box open for some reason, there was a, a handgun and three magazines just sitting in the glove box. The second reason, you know, when you're driving in cars, there's always the risk of a car accident. And because the gun isn't secure inside the glove box, if your car rolls or gets spun around or something, that gun could end up literally anywhere in your car or outside of your car. And finally, if you do get pulled over by the police, most people leave their registration and proof of insurance in the glove box. So when the cop is asking you for those things, you are reaching for your gun at the same time you're reaching for those other documents as well. Now you're asking yourself, well, what do I do if I find myself on a long drive or I'm going to a non-permissive area? How can I handle that? So first of all, plan ahead. If you know you're going into a non-permissive environment, you need to ask yourself two questions. Do I need to bring my gun or do I need to go there at all? What are some other solutions? Think ahead, plan ahead before you actually end up there in the parking lot. Uh, the other thing you can do is invest in a gun safe. You know, there are a lot of manufacturers out there making fantastic safes that are small, easily portable, and fit well inside a vehicle. And they're very secure with biometric or a keypad or even a physical key. The last thing you could do is get a, like a car holster mount. So there's a lot of manufacturers that make these as well, where you can take your gun off in the holster and stick it into this you know, adapter either underneath the dash or somewhere in your car where it's gonna securely keep that gun in place until you're ready to take it out. Bottom line, there's a lot of other options out there other than just chucking the gun in the glove box. So please don't do that. Invest in something like a safe or a car holster mount for the future use. Before you go, quick reminder, we have a secret gun giveaway going on right now. You can enter for free, but it ends really soon. Just click the link in the description below to reveal which brand new gun you could win. 